All right, we are at one of my favorite spots here, so let's get airborne. And we're going to record some footage here today. And at the same time, we will take a closer look at the flight time that you will be getting with the DJI Mini 2. So let's just check what we have right now. It's not a fully charged battery, so that's uh, of course a shame. But at least it should give us a pretty nifty idea what we are capable of getting. At the same time, I will zip around here and make some footage that I can use. For some of my other videos. It's kind of a little bit dark here, so maybe we should push it up so it's a little bit overexposed. So, this is the harbor, Warby Harbor. So let's see, we want to have this. Nice. There's a boat coming by. So let's just see if we can follow that one. And we can use the zooming capabilities. So we just put it like that. So let's zoom out again and film this lovely place in here. So you can see this is a Warby, it's called. And what you can see in the back, that is sort of the mill, that's sort of where they stored all their harvest. And just in front of here, that's uh, sort of the inn where you went for, uh, for getting food. And as you can see in the back, there is the lovely Orby Castle. Let's just tilt this up so you can see it a little bit better. So let's do another manual point of interest here. That's pretty nice. So now the boat is escaping. Let's put it in sport mode and see if we can catch it. Back here. I think I would like to underexpose it a little bit again. Like that, maybe neutral exposure.
you know, I'll just brighten it up in post. So we need to do one around this, I think. That would be really nice. Just started from all the way over here without going over the road. Ooh, what happened with the gimbal there? Oh, let's take it out of sport mode. Maybe put it in cinema mode. This is typical stuff that I would do when I'm out filming. So, there's a lot of stuff in between, with a lot of jerkiness that's not so smooth. But those, that just needs to be cut out, and that's part of the game. This is a super nice manual point of interest. And the way that you do that is uh, they simply move the roll stick to, uh, yeah, in this case, uh, to the left, and then you yaw to the right. Then, and you can do it the other way around. So if I, if I push it towards the right side, I need to yaw to the left side to keep the object in center. It takes a little practice and it makes it a lot easier if you use the cinema mode to do this. All right, so let's sip over here, maybe do a few. It's a nice view here of the harbor. The weather is so crappy at the moment. Just do a simple one where we fly towards the red house. We simply tilt down the gimbal while we're doing it. Battery is lasting pretty well here. We have been uh, yeah. so still 18 minutes. So we can do one of those here. Those are always pretty nice. Uh, we position ourselves on top of the house like this, and then we increase the altitude while we are turning. And that way, you need to use the yaw motion while you are increasing the altitude. In general, top-down photos, they are very nice. Very nice. So. Oh, I'm sitting down down next to the two white boats. So let's go back here. Maybe we could do a few of those interesting uh, quick shots. Let's use the boat over here as a reference. The reason why I say that is because this part over here, you're not allowed to fly that without applying for permission. So let's just use the boat here as an example. Stop the video, go into quick shots. Let's start by just simply doing a rocket. And you can adjust the height of, uh, of the rocket here. So let's just do a crazy one here. Because what we want to spend, we want to use the battery. <laughs> It 
it flies very, very nicely, I must say. I'm really surprised how confident you can fly this drone compared to, to uh, some of the other, uh, to, the, to the predecessor, the Mini. The Mini, you always have to worry about connection issues and stuff. And here I'm just sitting on the, the shore of uh, <laughs> this harbor, flying around. Kind of a nice place, yeah? So, now it's getting back here. So this uh, battery test is, uh, yeah, you could argue, I don't know if it's realistic, but yeah, it is realistic. It's not one of these artificial ones where you just hover it. This is uh, sort of the stuff that you can expect when you are out flying. And uh, getting, a, now we're talking connection, getting the AcuSync 2.0 is, uh, is really, really awesome. There's a big, big difference in the connectivity. And I'm also very curious to hear what you're saying about the, the picture quality. Let's just do a circle here while there's no one around. And we can't do much with the circle other than circle. Two, one, go. So now it's circling. And we are 27 meters high and around 28, no, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> that was not a perfect circle, but uh, still it looks pretty darn nice. So we have used almost half the battery. We are not getting, uh, we are not allowed to go below, I think 30% unless we need to do all sorts of uh, fiddling here. So let's just try and do helix. I want to do a helix. And I want to do a helix where I go closer to the boat here. Like this. I'm pretty sure this will be nice. Position ourselves like this. And we use it the other way around this time. Just for the sake of it. It would uh, be nice if you had more options to customize these shots. I know they are meant for like quick shots. Uh, yeah. So you're basically just <laughs> supposed to tap it and let it do whatever it, uh, it needs to do. And it's really cool that it just returns to the position where it starts. Also, uh, the, the battery in the new remote, that is absolutely amazing. I've been flying a, a few batteries, uh, or, or, and I haven't even seen it drop a single of these uh, LEDs yet. So, let's just see. I could do a max radius here. Let's just do one more where we do like something crazy. Go to 60 maybe. No, let's do a boomerang. Instead, boomerang. So the boomerang is being thrown. See me in the corner? Hey, hey! <laughs> so that part is, uh, is, uh, is super nice. Maybe we should just uh, grab a few photos here while we're here. I like the panorama option to do a wide shot. So if we do go up, so we can see the whole area. Still in quick shot. So we just go to panorama, low power mode. We can fix that. 
just go under control here and we allow for phone charging and that's uh, that's pretty awesome okay so let's just do uh, a single photo here maybe an AB it's always nice take three photos in a row and then we jump down to the panel and we do a white one so we get the whole Give everything included here. You get a nice white picture of uh, the area here. So, so now it's, yeah. So now we are getting down. There's eight minutes until we are back in business. And so let's see, this one is still running. The screen recorder. So yeah, I can show you the stuff. And of course you have uh, the option to mess around with uh, all the, the different stuff here, like shutter and ISO, the manual camera settings. But if you do one here, the way we are doing 32 in, uh, in, uh, in ISO and maybe, and just take like a second photo so I can show you what I mean. So if I switch it into, let's say I take the maximum shot. Ah, not the maximum shutter. I take the maximum ISO like this and I reduce the shutter until we have decent exposure. That's one picture. Then I can do one where I put this one at 100 which gives you the darkest image but also the best quality. So I can just lower the shutter here. And if we're lucky we can do a picture here. That will allow you to uh, evaluate or let you see the difference in noise in the image, digital noise. The ISO introduces a high ISO number, brightens the image, but it introduces uh, noise. So let's see what else we can find out here while uh, time is flying in a good company. We can do something that's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just bring the drone down here. I want to record a little bit here, so let's switch this one into video, 4K. Man, this is nice. Just need to go over here a little bit. So, doing. Sometimes it's not always an advantage to fly high. Let's just try and record a scene here where we fly high. So we fly high, 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 high. We're flying in around, what, 50 meters? So I can take the exact same shot if I move backward. And let's say that I want to repeat the exact same shot. I just. And I go down to maybe something like. You have to imagine, you can't do this. How would you do a shot like that without a drone? So let's go down to 10 meters like this instead. Let's start the video and then fly. This is a completely different shot than, uh, than the other one. And depending on what you want to do with your footage, you might prefer one or the other. But I see a tendency for drone pilots always to fly high just because they can. But there's no reason for doing that. Before we run out of battery, I want to show you another funny little thing. Let's just... Because you can also do this. You see, now I'm a drone pilot, I'm just sitting here. I'm a drone pilot, so I'm just sitting here so we can do like a small shot here, flying over my head. There's many, 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 many options to vary the type of shot that you make. But not right now I'm going to show you a funny thing. So 
so for that case I want to go down to 1080p so what we're doing right now is so now we're getting low battery shouldn't mess around with low battery let's just try the experiment one more time before Stop the video and we simply let it run until it's it lands. Maybe I wanna land it, let it land on something that's not as rough as this. So it's just draining the last bits and pieces out of the battery. So it's a nice place here. I walk here often. So I can see I chose this location instead. So it lands on. We're down to 12. Let's see. So before it lands, uh, so this concludes this uh, battery test. I would just post it there while, while I'm, uh, uh, when I'm editing this video, how long time we actually managed to stay airborne. Now it's beeping and butting all over the place and it'll probably land itself in a sack. So um, I, are you uh, ready to pick up your own Mini 2? If so, then I've included purchase links in the description below for both US, Europe and uh, Scandinavia. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> Funny, it's still hanging there. What? It's saying critical low battery. What is it saying? Unable to take off, recharge. Promptly. Maybe I should lower it a little bit so it doesn't drop off. <laughs>
nothing there. So let's say critical low battery, we can't see much information here. So that's it. Okay, let's go home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.